Welcome to this unit of Myconic History, the Italian Renaissance, which incidentally is my favorite era in history, well, ever. Granted, of course, I'll be covering things outside of Italy, but this era and this country will be the overarching focus. Over the next number of weeks, I'll be with you covering famous figures from Medici's, Cosimo to Catherine, murders from the Pate conspiracy to the assassination of Alessandro de' Medici, Places like Milan, Florence, and Venice. Notorious bad guys like Pope Sixtus IV and Cesare Borgia. I'll be looking at momentous events like the advent of the printing press, the Black Death, the breakaway from the Catholic Church, the scandals of the many husbands of Lucrezia Borgia, and for that matter, the many wives of Henry VIII. I'll be looking at the authors from Dante to Shakespeare and artists like Michelangelo Bonarotti, Leonardo da Vinci, Filippo Bernaleschi, and Botticelli, all of whom made this the most exciting of eras. In this era, we see a rebirth of classical art, the rise of humanism, of Copernican astronomy. We see the rise of commerce, the ebb of feudalism, and saw the intervention in art techniques such as perspective. We saw intervention in paper, printing, and gunpowder. This era is the transition from the often hated on but equally thrilling Dark Ages into the modern age of today. I also have some surprise guest co-hosts who helped me through all of this. So what do you say? Join me! And don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. I'll see you, my cons, just a little bit later. Welcome to the Renaissance, an overview. In this video, we're going to answer five questions. What was the Renaissance? When and where did it start? What were the causes? When did it end and what were the effects? Do you think you know? What is it? Tell me. Do you know? Well, have a seat, get those headphones in, and let's just get into it. <music> Italian Renaissance. What is the Renaissance? The Renaissance was an event in Europe that went from the 14th to 17th century and it was the bridge between the Middle Ages which took place between the 5th and 15th centuries to the Age of Enlightenment which began in the 18th century. It was initially local to Italy, Florence to be exact, but by the 16th century it spread across to the rest of Europe. The era was a rediscovery of classic philosophy, literature, and art and saw advances in, well, the arts, religion, commerce, humanist philosophy, medicine, and sciences, and this was also seen as a golden age for those who, well, <laughs> had means. When and where did it start? The Renaissance is said to have started in Florence, Italy between 1350 and 400 CE, which effectively ended the Middle Ages. What were the causes? What caused the Renaissance was an increase of interaction between different societies, cultures, and people. Furthermore, the trade across the countries and city-states, different ideas and beliefs were exchanged, and it broke the rigid systems of Europe at the time, which were steeped in religious fanaticism and feudalism. In addition to the trade along the Silk Road, the Crusades, which numbered up to nine over the course of two centuries, caused Islam, Christianity, and Judaism to mix and clash along with sciences and philosophy. Because Italians had to cross into the Middle East to get to Jerusalem, and the region was a hub of learning and knowledge due to their access to both Europeans and Asians, they also benefited from the new ideas and beliefs coming forward. What also spread the good word of the ancient texts, were, which were lost to Europeans during the sack of Rome, it also happened that Arabs had copied them down and they were safely guarded by Jewish and Arab societies. To further along the good word was the invention of the printing press, which allowed the works to be mass produced. Through these texts, human the humanist ideals of Cicero spread after Petrarch rediscovered them, which also helped to lead to more secular thinking. Speaking of breaking with religious thinking, one thing that also pushed along the Renaissance was the Black Death, where half of Europe died and threw the continent into a tizzy. 
With science not being as advanced as it is now, many people chalked up the pandemic to the will of God, with little idea of how it spread or how to stop it. With the head of Christendom being the Catholic Church, some people challenged the status quo and began to look for other ideas outside of the rigid confines of Holy Mother Church. It changed the population and how money and power were, were doled out. Many people left the country to work in city-states that would eventually kick off the Italian Renaissance. When and how did it end? The Renaissance ended in Italy during the fall of Rome in 1527, according to most historians, when the gulf between Christianity and humanism really began to widen and mannerism started gaining ground. However, the Renaissance continued elsewhere throughout Europe. Furthermore, wars and habitual ass-kickings from the French, Spanish, and Germans rendered the area of Italy unstable. The break away from the church with the Reformation, the Counter-Reformation, the Roman Inquisition also made any humanist ideas or anything contrary to church belief and doctrine heresy and punishable by death. Writers, scholars, philosophers, and artists were muzzled and the creativity was no longer free-ranging as it was before. Ooh. What was the aftermath? With the Renaissance came the Age of Exploration, the Protestant Reformation, the Elizabethan era, and the switching from Latin to vernacular languages. We saw a rise in capitalist ideas, new art techniques, Copernican astronomy, which brought forth the idea of heliocentrism, and the advances in medicine, knowledge of the human body, and the spread of philosophy. The impact of the Renaissance is still felt very much so today. Hey friends, that's the Italian Renaissance in a nutshell. If you like what you just saw, please remember to comment, like, share, and subscribe. I thank all of you for taking the time to watch me, and I thank all of you for taking the time to listen to me, and hope to see you again in the future with our next video. Well, have a great day, and be a little, you know, my iconic! <laughs>